what better to do on a rainy Sunday than wash your motorcycle. Cold and damp, overcast. Get all this road climb off. I've done a couple of hundred miles recently and it hasn't been washed since last autumn. I have to find the chrome polish it. This is a 2003. Nearly standard. Thunderbird Mark II and it's bristling with chrome. Try and do this. They often put the rear the pillion footrest on the on the frame if that took a blow it could damage your frame. I can manage 150 miles on this, maybe 200 miles in warm non-windy conditions with a small bag here but in the cold and rain and when the wind's blowing it's too hard. England's very tough. Respect to those couriers and commuters for the conditions they ride in. Normally aspirated, that's carburetors. Three cylinder, it's like a power machine. You can turn this thing and go faster. It's the same with the Royal Enfield. But you don't go as fast and you don't get there as quickly. But essentially it's the same. And the purists will be cringing, but you know they almost came from the same stable. They were never really stable mates, but they spoke the same language. It's a heavy engine. U-turns are fun. It's not got a very good steering lock, so you have to just keep up a little bit of speed and some bubble engine speed. Just keep your engine turning and keep it driving the back wheel. That's the basis of it. Keep moving. At least keep the engine moving. It's better when it's connected to the road. Oh, whoa, what's all this? For a minute they were hot. It's a soft brush. It's only soft. I'm not harming this. That's the water tank in there. To top up the water tank, you have to the coolant reservoir. You have to take the petrol tank off. And to take the tank off, you've got to take the seat off. Royal Enfield Triumph, same thing. Actually, it would be cool to reproduce those uh, 750 twins. Royal Enfield. You know, do the engine properly, of course. Do it this way. <laughs> don't, let, don't let Aisha. Cut it this way. <laughs> the new Royal Enfield out, ad, ad, advert out on YouTube, I've seen it. Chap gets up in the morning, he's in Indian, and this elderly mother sitting on the swinging chair quietly, and beautiful classical Indian music playing, and his beautiful wife is seeing him ride out of the drive, and go out and leaves the drive of the house. Not many Indian houses have driveways. And his daughter runs up and kisses his kiss his daddy goodbye. He starts his through to see classic Royal Enfield. It's still very, very popular in India. It's probably the number one bullet that sells. I don't know the figures. And daddy rides off to work. He goes through the village. He comes in on the highway into town. Of course, it's Chennai. And Madras to the older, well, older folk. On his way to work, he works at the Royal Enfield factory in Chennai. You get glimpses of the production line. Uh, yeah, you know the man is painting the gold line on Royal Enfield on the, on the petrol tank. And the beautiful music, you know, heart stirring, heart stirringly beautiful Indian music. Then the classic Royal Enfield tune in those pastel colours and blue colour, light blue. Scene sky blue or something like that. Slips <laughs> into focus with a, an Indian engineer standing beside it. Very nice. There is a centre stand. 
So you've got to get underneath it on this side. Oil pump is this side, water pump, generator, starter motor. Final drive is this side. Oh, I've still got to do the inside of that wheel. How did I wash this last time? No Indian boys here, Pete, to wash the bike. More's the pity. Still, you can't bring India here. It's already here. India's already here. <laughs> you know this in Delhi too. Nice control. I can't fault them. The headlight switch doesn't seem to be in the centre when it's on, you know, halfway, but... This is actually car shampoo I'm using and a bucket of, you know, plain old hot water, but I thought car shampoo, motor sh motorbike shampoo, you know, what's going to be different? <coughs> Maybe the size of the bottle. It actually needs some uh, brake fluid. I've been pushing the boat a bit there, it needs these front brakes sorting out. 5,000 RPM in third gear. I know what I'll do. I know what I should do. I should spread out the washing of this side of the wheel, you know, so I don't bend my back. But I'll do this one now. I'm so this will last. That'd be fun. Man. Feel like fun. Speedo drive is down here. My product is front brake. It's not terribly good, this front brake. The Street Fighters, because this is more of a cruiser, the Street Fighters have a double disc. They must stop nicely. Got a funny vibration at 3000 revs from fourth gear onwards. I think it's just asking too much torque. These are the drive shockers in here, I think. I guess they are the same. The same on most motorcycles. Hi. Welcome to Free Spirit Adventure. I'm Peter Franken and I lead tours across India, Nepal and Tibet. For about 10 years now I've been exploring and researching routes, places, night stops, scenery, landscapes, history, all sorts of things to make these tours a real success. We have a, an itinerary but we don't always follow it. Often the circumstances on the highway and the mountain road, floods across the plains, cause us to divert, change the itinerary, reform a plan, maybe change direction. But it's all adventure and it's all part of the experience and generally you get to see pretty much what you're paid to see. Free spirit adventure. Come and ride with us.